Hi, welcome back. Today I just want to go through and do a tour of my Linux system. Uh, what I've got going right now is my new system that I built a few months back. It's a 5800X 3D CPU because there just wasn't really enough of a performance jump on the AM5s and I did move from NVIDIA to AMD with the RX 7900 GRE. I do currently have 32 gig RAM. I will be upgrading to two sticks of 32 gig for 64 gigabyte. And I do obviously have, I have DaVinci Resolve here, does work. And I'm using the OpenCL Rusty CL Mesa driver not the Rockham driver. And I can actually show that if I, instead of going there, I can actually go in, edit this launcher with Kate. You can see the executable. I add rusty CL underscore enable equals Radeon SI. That enables support for Radeon GPUs with OpenCL with the rusty CL driver. You would change this to ARC if you're running Intel. Um, I'm not sure what you would set it to with an NVIDIA card if you were using the open source NVIDIA drivers like the NVK Vulkan driver. Uh, but the Rusty CL driver does support NVIDIA also. DaVinci Resolve does work. It works fairly well. Uh, the biggest difference, however, is I don't have access to GPU encoding on DaVinci Resolve Studio under Linux. Uh, Blackmagic Design currently only offers GPU encoder support under Linux on NVIDIA GPUs, so it won't be supported on Intel GPUs either. However, it does work. It works very, very good. Uh, when you render out, you will have to use CPU encoding, but some tests I've done under Linux and under Windows. Under Windows, I obviously have access to the AMD GPU encoder, but just like when I was running NVIDIA, <laughs> the CPU is encoding at almost within a matter of 5 to 10 seconds difference render speed to finish the render so the CPU is rendering at almost the same speed as the GPU does at least for your finished rendered output. Uh, really only big things I've got in here obviously is I've got Darktable installed you know and it launches uh, I have a GIMP plugin installed that I use the script manager for to open GIMP directly inside of a dark table. I can go here and obviously, you know, you got your stuff here. This photo, not really much of an edit, <laughs> very, very basic edit, but as you can see, you know, I could scan around it's not very slow. You know, the GPU keeps up very, very well. Now the Rusty CL support in Darktable is currently under experimental, but it does work. And yes, I do have color management enabled under KDE Plasma, which is this is one of the reasons I switched to Plasma, was for this right here. I select either monitor and I have my ICC profiles loaded for each monitor. Um, I installed GNOME for a little bit, but I did notice under GNOME when you're running it under Wayland mode for using Wayland instead of X11, you can try to load the ICC profiles and nothing changes on the monitor. However, KDE Plasma, 
it actually uses the profile. Now all of your software like GIMP is stuck in sRGB mode, but having proper color management support under Wayland is one of the things required to get proper HDR working. I've got mainly all my graphics apps here. Let's see, and one of the other things, I have a script here. I did install Comfy UI uh, using a, a Python Venv environment so that the uh, AMD Rockham driver would not get installed system-wide. That is specifically for Krita. And I've used it for some basic AI stuff, but I'll hit new. I'll just do 1080 by 1080. I did load a few other models so far. I have SDXL and everything installed, but I can do, let's see. So just a basic, really basic, basic prompt. Um... We'll see how this uh, generates while using VA API uh, GPU encoding in OBS. Seems to be rendering fairly good. The VCN encoders on this uh, 7900 GRE seem to be doing pretty good, but we'll see how this does. And like right here, it's just using random seed. And this is realistic vision is the model I have. This is an error I keep getting. When I hit close, it just does it. It lets it come up. So I have that. Let's see, I can generate something different. Let's see, Cyberpunk. We'll add that to the generation and see what else it comes up with. I do have a model though that I have been training using all of my old photography stuff. So, and I've been testing that. I've actually generated images of models that I've done photo shoots with in the past. So, you know, and with this, you know, you got, you know, it is Krita, but obviously this is stuff I like. This AI stuff is definitely cool. You can use this with your photography to remove objects in the scene or replace stuff in the scene. I've even used it to, to just remove blemishes on people's skin. I've actually used that in this tool inside of Krita. Um, this literally just gives you the same functionality of a uh, Photoshop's generative fill prompt. That's an error you get when you forget what I got to do is go here, hit apply, so the images is actually on a layer. Then I can hit refine. This will be the last thing I mess with in Krita, just as a demonstration. Um, if you want to see anything else regarding AI stuff, I can show some stuff like editing photos, using it to edit photos and stuff. But as you can see there, it just did a refined image on the face. You know... It's pretty cool. You know, I just close that, go in the terminal, hit Control C to stop the Comfy UI server. Uh, some of the biggest things I'm wanting to do with Linux is me and my wife, we are republishing her very, very first book. So all of her previous books I've done in the Affinity Suite I am going to republish her book using Affinity, but then and when I'm done doing that, I do want to go back and use Scribus and figure out how to get Scribus to do everything I want for the typesetting of the interior of the book. Because as far as like uh, book covers and... Uh, editing of photos and stuff, you know, like I can do all of that inside of 
Linux perfectly fine. But I need to get Scribus to function good for me as a desktop publishing program. I'm hoping that program advances more. Uh, I am going to figure out how to get it to function the way I want it to function. But I can actually show here, I'll go into settings inside of OBS really quick. Bring my settings window over. I am recording 4K60. If I go to output recording, you can see it's in a Matroska MKV. It's FFmpeg VA API and it is AV1. I'm using PCM16. I may switch to 24 bit. And there's the AMD GPU using a constant bit rate of 25 megabit a second or 25,000 kilobits per second. This comes out to around 28 uh, megabit a second in the final render. But so far, not really having too many issues running under Wayland. Um, in the past, uh, Display Cal would not reset the gamma table <laughs> on the video card. I have since installed the Python 3 port of Display Cal that is in the Arch repos. Um, it functions fine when I launch it while inside of Wayland on Plasma. Um, other than that, Krita does everything I want it to do. I am looking more into raw therapy a little bit. I have been playing around with Scribus, as I said. Uh, once I can get Scribus to do everything I want, along with GIMP, Inkscape, and Krita, and some of the comfy UI AI stuff inside of Krita, um, once I can do all my typesetting the way I want inside of Scribus, which is pretty much not going to match the Affinity Publisher way, but what it is, is I want to be able to set a parameter to where it starts each H1 heading page, every page that has an H1 heading. I want that to start on the right page of a book, not the left page when you have the book open looking at it. Affinity Publisher lets you do that. I'm still working out how to figure that out in Scribus. Um, if anybody out there knows how to get Scribus to do that, definitely let me know in the comments. But look forward to some videos coming soon. Um, other than, you know, my normal photo video stuff, I am using code with the Fountain plugin to write screenplay stuff. Um, I'm hoping the Nexus Mods app gets more advanced. To, I have that installed. It can't see any of my games, obviously, but it is a native Linux app now. I'm currently playing Final Fantasy here. Um, using uh, the mods that I had to manually install in, from my Windows install. And as you can see, you know, there's the regular graphics <laughs> without the mod. And then I, let's see, doot, doot, go here. And there's with the graphics mod, the polygon counts higher, texture resolution is better, but that was a very involved install. It was easy to do under Windows, but then I had to copy the entire Final Fantasy 13 install folder from Windows and overwrite my Linux install <laughs> to get the mod to actually work. Let me know. Uh, going forward, I am going to be doing more general Linux content. Uh, I'm going to honestly try to cover everything content creation on Linux, from photo, video, uh, possibly some compositing stuff in video, and music creation uh, in some upcoming videos, and may even start doing some live streaming to do some Q&As. 
but let me know. Like, subscribe, comment, share the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.